Hi everyone. In this video, we will perform validation in JavaScript. We will validate this forum, name, email, and password using JavaScript. So let's get started. I have already created this design. See, it is the code forum. And here we will write our validation and it is the CSS code for that. So let's write our coding here. So the first thing is to create a function in this for, uh, forum validation. Uh, now we will call this function. Let's remove the CSS code. And we have assigned a name to our forum and also on submit. On submit we will call that function. Say it okay on submit validation function we will call that function so first we will import forum validation file here instead of this forum validation.js okay we imported that so now I will get the value of input field name email and password so to get the values of that our name is equal to document dot f1 forum the name of forum was f1 dot uh, name dot value same to this I will get for uh, email and password yeah I got the values so now I will uh, perform validation on that if name was equal to equal to if name was empty so then it will just uh, show a, an error to us under this name field okay here in this area so let's write code for that so first of all we will write a span tag here under name uh, we will write a span tag here and we will assign id to this the id would be name error let's access that first i will access that our name error is equal to document dot query selector we will access by id name error now let's write text for that name error dot inner html is equal to name is required now let's change the color of that dot style dot color is equal to read and return false uh, we will create a variable for return video var video. return value is equal to by default it is true return um, so we are value is equal to false because here we have an error sorry is equal to with false and return here our value yeah let's check it refresh the page and whenever we submit the button see name is required we have this error same to that let's write another validation else if name dot length was greater than 10 for example 15 or just we will simple validation for first we will write 8 again we will perform this error we will write here name should not be more in 8 8 character okay else finally we should remove the error of our foot field so now let's check it to push the page first submit it okay name is required and let's change it to the due tag yeah name required let's write for example more than eight character 
name should not be more than 8 if we write submit ok that has submitted ok forum is ok so now let's write the same thing for the email and for the email we should have a regular expression first I will write do tag here and assign ID to this uh, email error now first let's access that error that should be email and also email error and we will write a regular expression for the email email regular expression is equal to that is, this is the regular expression for email it means that without space and at sign we should have all the character and plus mean one or more character and after characters for example um, use of at gmail.com okay then we should have at sign after that again we have characters without space and at we have the characters after that we have a dot okay dot com for example dot com dot ru dot something else okay again without space and dot we should have other uh, more characters for dot com and for the domain uh, now let's apply this on the password first we will write app password was equal to equal to with empty if I just simply yeah I will write password oh it is email sorry this is email email error that inner HTML is equal to email is required email error dot style dot color is equal to read return false our oh, return sorry we should assign our value false okay else if if the um, email didn't match with this regular expression okay this regular expression email regular expression dot test email if it meets it will return true okay so we should write something like this if it returns for example it didn't match with that so what it will do it will execute this part of code here again we will write the code for the email that the email not match and else we will just make this empty let's check now the email yeah both are required so now let's write name okay let's first of all write topper okay submit our uh, name should not be more than 8 we have applied that and here see we have email not match topper at gmail for example again not match if I write dot com so it will match with that okay that has submitted so now let's write for the password for the password I will simply copy this and after that I will change this to password and password error and this should be also password error yeah password error here we should write password is right password okay let's uh, get the password error here we will get that by password error and here password error 
okay so let's write div here under the password id error and let's write regular expression for the password uh, this is the regular expression for the password uh, this mean at least one digit this mean at least one small character this mean one at least one capital character and the character should be a to z a to z capital zero to nine okay these digits and the number should be eight okay um, the list at least we should have eight number of password but uh, more than eight we can um, enter the password but less than eight is not acceptable so now let's write that in this area we will write the password pattern if not pattern password password pattern okay dot test dot password if the password didn't match with that regular expression so it will write something for us like this so now let's okay let's write the name eight characters and the email we checked email submit it see password is required so now we will write in password for example one two three four five six seven eight just digit not match if i write just small character not acceptable if i write digit and small character both again not acceptable if i write digit and capital character then it will be acceptable see that has accepted so it was all about the forum validation in javascript uh, if you have liked this video so please uh, subscribe our youtube channel and also like this video and uh, thanks for watching